Hey guys, Maxad here with episode 29 of the motion manga Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse. And well, we're definitely flying towards a climax here as well, Hori continues to climb, climb, climb up in the Eclipse Unit 1 with Kenny giving chase in the Unit 2. And we know from last last episode, like, I did you guys it's like no one realized this was a, no one realized that Kenny uh, was going on a suicide mission? What, what did you expect was gonna happen exactly? What, could he did you expect him to like uh eject from his Gundam, it, does does a Gundam have, does Eclipse, any gun, any mobile suit here, does it have an ejection seat? Well, I don't know, I mean, I, it was surprising to know that uh, mobile suits in the one year war did have an ejection seat function. Although, how many... When was that ever used? At any point? I mean, well, <coughs> for Federation suits here with the core block system, we, we've seen that that can work. We've seen that work here. It certainly, it certainly worked for EO. But in Xeon suits here, like, Zaku's supposed to have an ejection seat? Is that, really? When did that, when has that ever worked? Uh, and does... Do seed suits have that function? A way to eject? After the bail out of the Aegis, when he said to self-destruct, and he was caught in the blah. And he was still caught in the uh, shock in the like shock wave. It was lucky for it that he survived. <clears throat> he, but how was he gonna how was Kenny supposed to survive a nuclear explosion? What, what, what do they think they're going to do here? Is going to send up? Send a... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 I like to know. I like to know what these uh, local terrorists, these terrorist group fought exactly. How how could he have survived? How would he have got, uh, escaped the Gundam? Escaped, uh, like, that yeah, Jesse from his Gundam. Oh, boy! Ah, my ears! The transform. Use a difference in altitude to your advantage and just Why are you giving chase? Just run away. Wait, what? Okay! The uh the the, the system from the freedoms and the justice! Precision targeting. So yeah, he's trying to yeah, like he like he said, like Kenny said, he's trying to be like a Kira here. Cause we know Hori Hori's inspired by Kira and the Freedom Pine how Freedom Fight it. Freedom. Not gonna happen. Multi lock on, you can use it like that? You didn't know that was possible? Precise simultaneously fire that deliberately avoided a carbon nuclear reactor. He, he forced me to instant power, instantly power down. Yeah, you. I guess it's, it's more surprised. I guess he's more surprised that Hori was able to perform. Perform such. Such a move, such a move here, because he didn't... I mean, one thing, it's one thing if Kira can, but... Hori, a natural? He underestimated him. He desire to not kill. Okay. 
Okay. So I guess. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. You must live. You must live. Okay, I have nothing now. Exactly. In the world now. Exactly. We'll find it. Until we find it. <laughs> you know, I can't help but think this is like this is almost like the counterpoint to Lala Soon when they first engage the talk with Amuro in the Elmeth like that here and how she said you got nothing worth you you have nothing worth fighting for anything like that no one to fight for no one you care or love about here blah 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 they're not to fight without any of that is inhuman Brat, shut up okay look yeah nothing nothing now he has nothing now but who say he can find something later okay People that people fight people can fight for the opportunity for, for to find something or someone to fight and die for. Live and die for. Shut up. And this is this is a counterpoint. I think I feel like he she he this Koi would shut Lala up. Let's go, Kenny. Ah, that's fine, Kenny. What your mother said. I give up. Oh, that's it. Interesting conclusion. I kind of like it. Thank God. You lost, so... Turn yourself in? Yeah, you did. What's it gonna be now? Though it still hurts that we have nowhere to go. Sacrificing our comrade is wrong. Yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, wrong on a more on every on a very strict moral sense here, at least current moral current moral sense, current current moral standards. But sometimes you have to. Do a small wrong for the for the greater right. It's confusing, but hey, reality can be quite confusing, conflicting, con contrarian to it. Just because, in the end, that's life. That's life. It's full of con. It's cha chaos. It's very chaotic. It depends on your future attitude. Yeah, go go to orb. To steal the, the and using it too. Hmm, yeah. That's what. Yeah. Go go to orb. The Atlantic Federation's crap. Yep, there we are. <sighs> you know, I wish I could say that shocked me, but no, it throws it, it surprised me a little bit. I admit that, but shock, no. No, 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 no. Nah. Nope. Mm hmm.
not over yet? The, uh... Did you miscalculation? There's also the fact that the, uh, Eclipse, the Unit 2, is it still on a timer? Like, it may have powered down, but the, I think the, would that, would the clock also power down here, or, I don't know. And yeah! Zebel, he's a fanatic! I, I can't just give up now. I love how he's got, like, uh... Four barrels here, and oh, wow, nice detail as well. You can see the three remaining bullets, and the one where the gun was, which bullet was fired up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's missing. You can see the smoke coming out here. Nice. I can't just give up now. Yep, he's dedicated. He's committed. For the preservation of our blue and pure world. This guy is with blue cosmos? Or is it logos? Nah, blue, probably, probably both. But. Okay. Is he a full blown natural or really just. Or, the, or is he still like a natural, a hybrid of natural coordinator offspring there here, but is really just been brainwashed by Blue Cosmos and such here. Probably, like, mental conditioned. So, uh, I gotta admit, him saying that line here is the biggest surprise. It shows he's a little bit more complex in a very dark way. There's more to his story than what we, what we were told here. We were told, generally... The general story of everyone, everyone there in the terrorist group here between, you know, coordinators, a lot of them half pre halflings, hybrids, born in the Federation here, stripped of, their, stripped of their citizenship and such. And now this guy is a blue, blue cosmo or logos, logos guy. Ooh, yeah. I really, I really think he must have been heavily indoctrinated. Then, because that just adds a lot more depth to his character, and oh boy, so yeah, it's still going, and there's still a cold course of the Unit 2's nuclear reactor. Yeah, powered down, but does that does that power down the timer, or will it's it's it, it's still ticking down to go kablooey? I don't know. Ooh, but nice cliffhanger. So, guys, thank you for watching. Comment down below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till the next one. This is Mixon. Logging out.